The history and origin of the Gorgonopsids. The fauna of the Permian geological period was distinguished by a wide variety of species. And if it were not for the dramatic change in the planetary climate which led to the most massive extinction in the history of our planet, then most likely the animals that inhabit the Earth now would look very different. It is especially interesting how the development of predatory mammals would have gone. After all, by the end of the Permian period, nature had already created a predator that had many features that helped later animals climb to the top of the food chain. It is possible that the descendants of animals from the Gorgonopsid family would now occupy these places, and the appearance of dinosaurs, saber-toothed tigers, and perhaps people would be out of the question. Viewers who subscribe to our channel will be the first to know about the releases of new videos and get opportunities to comment on them. And if you want to help out the creators of the channel in this promotion, then you can do this with the help of likes. Representatives of the Gorgonopsid family were the perfect predators of their time. They were distributed throughout the supercontinent of Pangaea. The remains of creatures belonging to this suborder are found mainly in Africa. But there are also finds in Europe, Siberia, and both American continents. Now, scientists can say with confidence that they were different creatures belonging to related species. It is also clear that they occupied a niche of large land predators, although some of them could well lead to semi-aquatic lifestyles. The first Gorgonopsid was described in 1876 by Richard Owen, who discovered an incomplete skull of a previously unstudied species in South Africa. It was then that these therapsids got their name. Literally, it could be translated as the face of the Gorgon, but the Greek word Gorgos can also be translated as terrible, and the appearance of these animals is consistent with that name. These predators reached a length of about 2.5 to 4.5 meters and may have hunted in packs. But their most impressive feature was the structure of the jaws and teeth. Nature created the first saber-toothed predators hundreds of millions of years before the appearance of Smilodons, Meherods, and other large cats of the Ice Age. Gorgonopsids became these predators. Gorgonopsids possessed impressive, backward curled fangs from the upper jaw. The smaller fangs of the lower jaw were positioned in such a way to leave room for the upper ones when biting, and the small pre-canine teeth of the upper jaw allowed the lower fangs to tightly close shut. Even if the beast could not immediately bite through the skin of the victim or accurately direct the blow, then such a natural castle still captured a piece of the victim's skin. Another important weapon of the Gorgonopsids was special jaws. Their jaw joint was double and movably articulated. This design allowed the mouth to be opened as wide as possible for powerful bites. Very few skeletons of these animals have been found, therefore it is quite difficult to accurately judge the structure of their body and some habits. It can be reliably stated that they had a powerful short neck, a developed shoulder girdle, and strong front legs. With their help, the predator could knock down and start tearing at its prey. The very setting of the forelimbs is more similar to the structure of the bodies of lizards than mammals. But in smaller members of the order, the front legs were more shifted under the body than in the largest known Gorgonopsids. The hind limbs of all known species of these animals were also located under the body and not on the sides of it. This position of the hind legs helps to push off better. This suggests that the Gorgonopsids must have jumped well, but they could hardly run fast. Their legs were much shorter than those of the modern predatory animals, which with we compare them to. True, for its time, the length of the paws was just enough to catch up with any animal of the Permian period. The feet and hands of these animals had a primitive structure. This should have affected both the speed of running and the efficiency of jumps. It was simply impossible for them to push off the ground well. It is also likely that Gorgonopsids could run long distances. 
a lack of the diaphragm did not allow them to breathe normally during such races. Disputes about the structure of the Gorgonopsid skin have been going on since the discovery of the first finds of the remains. Most scientists agree that they were warm-blooded animals, so it is quite possible that they were covered in fur. But the option with scales, like a lizard, is quite the case. The Gorgonopsid family includes two subfamilies, Enostrancebia and the Rubitide. At the moment, only one type of Enostrancebia is known for sure. It was he who gave the name of the subfamily. Enostrancebia are considered the largest representatives of the Gorgonopsid suborder. According to some reports, they could reach a length of more than four meters. They were discovered during the excavations of the Arkhangelsk region and named after the famous Russian geologist Alexander Enostrantsev. At the end of the 19th century, two complete skeletons and several more poorly preserved specimens were discovered there. Presumably, they were representatives of the same species, but belonging to different age groups. But there is an opinion that among these finds, there are remains of another Gorgonopsid named Orthodoxy in honor to the paleontologist Pravoslavlev. The largest of the found skeletons has a length of 3.5 meters. The length of his skull is 60 centimeters. Enostrancebia had a slender body on short legs. They also had elongated wedge-shaped heads. They presumably lived in swamps and woodlands around 252 to 265 million years ago. The subfamily Rubicides includes several more primitive animals undoubtedly related to Enostrancebia. Gorgonopsid, the animals that gave the name to the entire suborder, lived in South Africa about 254 to 259 million years ago. It is believed that they lived along the banks of rivers and in semi-desert areas. The estimated length of the Gorgonopsids was 3 to 3.5 meters. The length of their skull could reach 35 centimeters. The skull itself was massive and flatter than that of the Enostrancebia. At the moment, five species of these animals have been found. Rubigaya the genus of the Gorgonopsid is currently represented by three described species. Presumably, there is another separate species, but it is impossible that the remains found belong to one of the already described animals. These Gorgonopsids lived in the forests on the territory of modern South Africa at the end of the Permian period. These were large animals, over three meters long, Depending on the species, the skull of the rubage could reach from 30 to 50 centimeters. Clelandina. This genus includes three species of Gorgonopsids that lived on the territory of the African continent. They lived in semi-deserts and hunted animals with thick, durable skin. This evidenced by the presence of powerful jaws. But there is an option that these Gorgonopsids did not disdain carrion. Most likely, these were not the largest animals of their time. The largest of the found skulls do not exceed a length of 35 centimeters. Psychosaurus. The remains of these small animal lizards were found in Tanzania and South Africa. Scientists suggest that their maximum size did not exceed 2.5 meters. The first described skeleton was 1.2 meters long and had a skull 25 centimeters long. Samples found in Tanzania could reach 2 to 2.5 meters. Eleronanthus, one of the most numerous genera of Gorgonopsists known to science at the moment, at least eight reliably described species lived in the forests of South and East Africa during the Permian period. They were distinguished by rounded, laterally compressed skulls with high temporal fenestrae. In the process of their development, Gorgonopsids could become more advanced animals, but at the end of the Permian period, a dramatic climate change occurred, which led to the most massive extinction of species in the history of the Earth. The cause of this extinction, scientists say, increased volcanic activity in Siberia 
the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere had increased, and within a short period of time, by geological standards, the Gorgonopsids ceased to exist. All the mechanisms that these animal lizards began to develop, nature recreated in other animals. This means that if the fauna of the Permian period did not disappear then, now the descendants of the Gorgonopsids could become the most advanced predators in the history of the planet. We are grateful to the viewers who watched the end of this video. If you want to learn more about the history of evolution of various species of animals and plants that inhabited our Earth in different eras, then we recommend that you pay attention to the other materials posted to our channel.